Hello, Kim. How Antonio, are you doing? It's great to nice see you. Nice to see you again. Yeah. 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 It's been a short time, but I'm happy to see you again. Absolutely. This is Ezekiel, my, nice, nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah, thank nice you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. Please have a seat. So, so good to have you here. So, um, well, uh, we have discussed with you already the uh, your account manager, right? Yeah, sure. We've discussed with you already the uh, problems, the issues we have with uh, in regards to uh, IP protection and identification. We believe the risk we are assuming is too high, and we would like to know if you have any uh, any ways that you can possibly help us uh, solve uh, those issues. And you know, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity to come back in and talk to you. I mean, you're a very important client of ours, and we. We don't want to change that. We want to make sure you remain a client. Um, so I have brought along Sherry um, to rep, and um, so, but we are we are still willing to go to bat. We just want to, for you, go back to our general counsel and um, position this to them with the most detailed information that we possibly can. Um, so just kind of want to come to an agreement. What would be acceptable to you? And what might be acceptable to us. Well, so would you want to express their, your concerns to them? So yeah, I mean, I think the concerns were clear, right? Around like, IP protection and what we would like to understand is what are the proceedings that you envision today. So I understand that you didn't gain a solution today. You want to propose that to your general counsel. So what are the options that you are envisioning today in order to propose uh, something at council? Right, so first let me just say th thank you for taking the time to meet with us again. As Kim said, we are very interested in keeping you as customers, and I am here to try to resolve um, this particular matter with you today. So I will say that, as you might imagine, what you're asking for is quite outside the bounds of what we typically do in a business transaction of this size, and frankly, of any size. Um, I can't guarantee to you that we can provide to you what you've asked for, but what I can guarantee to you is I will work on it and I will take this to the right levels inside of our organization to see if we can get you a resolution. Now to give you a little backdrop, I've been with the company for about 25 years. I understand what you're asking for and in the last 25 years, Microsoft has faced litigation around this particular issue seven times. Now, all seven times we were able to resolve it favorably, and by that I mean, I know that you as the customer want particular language added to the contract that will detail and provide some comfort to you. We haven't typically granted that language, but that's not to say that we aren't interested in a positive resolution as well, right? So what that means is it would be an outside party pursuing a claim against Microsoft technology violating the IP. Let's just parade that out to the worst case scenario and say they brought that claim against you. Well, how likely is it that Microsoft would step away from that and just let you defend it? Whether that's in a piece of paper or not, the odds of Microsoft not being involved in that are very low. Now, I simply give that to you so you have some flavor around how you look at this from a company perspective. But I also understand your perspective that you'd like some sort of comfort language added. Yeah, so is. historically, as a company, we've always stepped up and taken care and of this. I understood that, but yeah. there is a risk. You said, what I are the probabilities? There is a and risk. And we've quantified it, and we, we have a number. So the question is, you know, you say you cannot accept to put this number on mm -hmm. uh, or this language on the contract, then what is that we do? Yeah. So what are the options that we have today? Right. Is either you are going to cover us, or we need to, fit to look at for coverage somewhere else. So right. I, I acknowledge that you have a risk. I'm not trying to state that you don't. I'm trying to give you our perspective on how we view that, mm -hmm. and see if we can come to a resolution. 